Hello, I'm Janae Tipsharani with 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news of the Greek crisis intensifying. Greek government bonds have plunged, shaken by yet another downgrade and growing expectations the country will be forced into a default. The IMF says it no longer supports more extensions to Greece's debt repayment schedule. Time is tight and the pressure is on Greece. Four German economic institutes have raised their growth forecast for Germany's economy because of falling oil prices and a weak euro. The country's economy is expected to grow by 2.1% this year. US housing starts rose far less than expected in March and were 4.6% lower than the same month last year. This suggests the US economy could struggle to rebound from soft patch hit in the first quarter. Furthermore, jobless claims rose unexpectedly last week. OPEC has joined other major energy forecasters, saying an imminent fall in US oil production will see the US oil boom end this year. In fact, the Brent crude benchmark jumped today. In Australia, ANZ has revealed it will pay $30 million in compensation to thousands of financial advice customers who didn't receive the advice they paid for. This has reignited calls for a royal commission into the sector. Reports of tensions between ANZ's CEO Mike Smith and the bank's chairman indicate this could be the last straw for Smith. US Treasury 10-year yields rose earlier today at 1.93%. The US oil price remains at $57 a barrel, while Brent crude rose to $64 a barrel. The gold price has eased back to $1,198 an ounce. The US dollar is in stratosphere again. It rose nearly a cent overnight, reaching 76.9 US cents, the highest it's been against the US since mid-January. The dollar weakened slightly against the Australian, sitting at 98.4 Australian cents. It reached a new record against the euro at a whopping 71.3 euro cents. The TWI is the highest it's been since July 2014 at 81.5. I'm Janata Pirani and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.